Hey guys, this is Zio. Batman is in Senio. That is Kede Bork. And that is Nixity, Avalside, Enozy, like, I don't know, he's in Hot Guy Girl. Let's see what his name is on here. Hot Guy in Real Life. Hot Girl in Real Life. I don't know how the fuck that shows up like that. Anyway, that's a mystery to me, actually. This is a preview of my level. Which has yet to be named or finished. But you're getting a preview of it. I guess you I'll let you guys read this text. Shut up, illiterate person. I'm gonna make a dumbed down version for people like Nixity who can't read and they can just go ahead and play. So, like I said, it's yet to be finished, but there will be more text. And but basically, it's a multi-path level, and you're going, you're playing out the memories of your life. Um, you can decide where you want to go here. I'm going to choose the left because I've uh, worked on that more so far. It's you know, it's a pretty international group of people right here. You know, we got a guy from, um, I think Holland. Good job, Kedavork, douchebag. Holland, uh, England, uh, and of course the amazing and best country in the world, the United States of America. That's what people will tell you, but I'll say otherwise. Yeah, it's not as great as people think it is. So, I give a lot of people the option to go where they want to go in this level. Um, as you can see here, you could either go to the left or the right, or... You could go Denmark, that's what I thought, but I call it Holland, I don't know why. Um, that's the big orange. I call it orange because I remember their um, football national team is like orange jerseys. Um, except for the fact that I need to add a spawn point here. But basically the level is multi-path, you can choose where you want to go. Whoever's down there, you're just screwed, so you might want to just kill yourself and I'll activate this checkpoint. Kill yourself. That's what happens when your level isn't done yet. Um, there will be text ex explaining what you do, but you basically decide where you want to go in this level. Just kind of cool. Like right here, there's a there's a switch over here, or there's a switch onto the left, and you can choose. It basically changes where you want to go. So if he pulls that switch, then theoretically over here, I sh go over there Batman, I shouldn't be able to use that switch. Like if you look, it went up there, like now you can't jump on it, hopefully. Alright, good. So, that means that we opened up the black thingamajigger, because we like black people. Um, over here to the right, it basically just triggered his all switch. What I'm doing right here, I'm still working on, and shit, I forgot to say that you won't be able to see the big spaceship that I'm working on. So I guess that'll still be a surprise to some people, but it's pretty epic. Anyway, you go on this little pod thing, and it takes you to a big spaceship. The thing in the background that's moving is actually going to be a huge like sequence, just so you can see this um, pod right here. That's also gonna it's it's gonna be pretty epic. Um, right now, it just looks like a moving thing, but. Trust me, it's going to be pretty good. And briefly, we will go to the right this time. It's actually pretty brief, but I'll explain what I'm thinking of doing. And yes, there is a story behind this like I hinted at. Uh, all the switches here, you can only do, like, once. Uh, I attached something called a drop switch to it, so basically, after you trigger the switch, you can't go back down. Like, if I were to pull the switch, it's already like that. Um, pretty much every single thing is like that. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, mainly because I'm getting tired of, like, elevators that, you know, you try to go up and then they, like, fuck up or something, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, try to incorporate that.
And Sinio is like a fucking bat. He blends into the darkness. You can't see where he's going. Uh, yeah, so this is the right side, and it's kind of cool. You can see, like, you know, other parts of the level as you go up. Um, but... It's a pretty long, uh, elevator sequence, which, unfortunately, that's kind of boring to some people, but... Oh, well, they can get past that, because the thing that's going to come up after here that I'm about to work on is to the left. There will be a platform that moves up, then to the right, and then down. So if you look over here to the right... Oh, come on, you just screwed up what I was going to say. Kill yourselves, please. Oh, those are the drop, drop switches, by the way, over right to the left. Anyway, over here to the right, if you look at this space over here, that's where you'll be. This thing that I'm going to do over to the left will move like in three different directions, and then you can just get, carry on like my wayward song. Alright, so that is the preview of my level. Hope you enjoyed it. And the next video will be a uh, review of Up and Away in Skytown by Jump Button. I first had this video all in one, but I decided to separate them for his sake, basically, so that he could have a video to advertise with.